TV. So now, um, Jennifer was going to this big, fancy, like, uh, Galo that was in uh, in New York City, and she had this like, I think I want to say it's like a purplish dress on. It was beautiful. She had this three carat diamond ring. I, it could have been, yeah, it was, it was, yeah, it was three carat. It was, it, it was a big diamond ring. She was, she was beautiful. And she wanted Puff to go with her. Uh, Chef Disaster was good, but Puff wouldn't go with her. You know what I'm saying? He wanted to be over in the studio with these little nasty tramps that this guy Slam had brought up in there. So she had went home, got dressed, went to the um, to her her uh, little her whatever her little ball or whatever they was given in New York City at that time. And um, when she came back. You know what I'm saying? Me and Puff was running around in the streets and we had came back over to the studio. So she met us over in the studio and she was like, she said to me, she said, yo, Gene, why is all these little hood rap, you know, nasty, trashy just up in the studio like that? I said to her, I said, Miss Lopez, uh, they was here when we got here, you know. She said, yeah, but they wouldn't be here. You know how Puff is. They wouldn't be here unless... You know, she wanted, they wanted them, he wanted them to be up here. And I didn't say anything to her. So Puff told me, he said, yo, Gene, take her home. You know what I'm saying? Because they, we were going out and we was getting, she had to get dressed because she had came back from her, her function. So as I was taking Jennifer home, she was telling me, like, yo, Gene, you know, whoever look out for me, I look out for them. You know what I'm saying? What's going on with those little, you know, tramps up in the thing? Kyla. You from 112th Street, I gotta shout you out, bro. what's good? So I said, Ms. Lopez, you know, I'm not at liberty to tell you anything about uh, Mr. Combs, I can't do that. Zeke Waters, California, checking in. Um, I said, I'm not at liberty to do that, Ms. Lopez. Gold from Holland, what's up with you? So I said, I'm not at liberty to say anything about Mr. Combs and his business. And she said, yo, Gene, whoever look out for me, I look out for them. You know, I said, well, I, I I don't know anything I could tell you, Ms. Lopez, that, that could help you. You know what I'm saying? So she got dressed. When she got came back downstairs, she had her hair in a ponytail. It looked like she had her ears greased and everything. She didn't have no earrings. You know, she had like like studs on or whatever like that. She had on jeans and sneakers. She's like, she's going to go back and she's going to tear up some shit that she funny and I was like yo Miss Lopez you alright she said yeah I'm alright Gene but they, I, I'm telling you I'm not going for this so uh, when we got back to the studio you understand uh, Puff was uh, saying we finna leave and everything the girls had left and everything like that so we were going over to Eugene's Eugene was a club I think it was on it was downtown it could have been 27th or 17th street in Manhattan and that's when we met Dame Dash, Jay-Z, Beyonce, uh, the whole Destiny Child Kelly with her little stank because she was, you know, like she had an attitude problem. But Beyonce and that girl Michelle, they was dancing, having fun and everything like that. Dame was there. Jay, they were just talking and chilling and everything like that. And then my man Tony De Niro. We was all up in there just chilling. They was chilling. I'm watching them, making sure everything is okay because I was the only one with all those celebrities. I was the only bodyguard there for them. So they was chilling and everything. They was dancing and everything. Everything was cool. So then now we go over to the cafeteria and they get into like this heated conversation with Jennifer. And they were going back and forth and puffing them trying to convince her because he's a celebrity, he got to have all kind of girls around him and everything. And she was telling this nigga like, yo, listen to me. I've been around celebrities. I've been around people. You know what I'm saying? You're not the first. You know, for all these little hood rats to be sneaking in and out of rooms with people, you understand? Why are you got these girls up in like that? Yo, Gene, would you tell them? And she said that to me and put me on the spot like that. And Puff said, Gene ain't gonna say nothing about my business to you. And then I just looked at her and she said, Gene, they must think I'm Susie Sausage Head. They must think I'm Susie Sausage Head, Gene. 
And I said, I just turned my head around and I looked and I walked away from their table and their area, stuff like that, but it was close enough so I could see them. But I knew she was gearing up, you know, to lead this cat because this cat kept on playing her. So one day about, I think it was in August, it was in August. This was early. This was in August. Now, we went to another party with some celebrities. It was Ben Affleck, Matthew Damon, Jada Pickett, and Will Smith. Right. So, I think it was. I don't know. It could have been uh, Ben Affleck's birthday party or something like that. But it was a little get together up in um, the Four Seasons. So we're not. We up in. Uh, up in the fourth season. Shot time was going on. East side. Uh, we up in the four seasons. So it was down, I think it was 56 or 57th Street, somewhere right there. So they had got a little little space in there where they were just having, you know, they were chilling and everything like that. They were having drinks and all that. And they were celebrating his birthday. Now, Will Smith's sister was in there too with her husband. Now, I remember her from when we was out in Cali before, and I chilled with her, went to her house, you know, good people and everything like that. But now she's married to this dude. He was light-skinned, uh, a light-skinned brother. You know, he was, you know, wasn't friendly like that, you know what I'm saying? I guess I wouldn't be friendly, too, if I'm sitting up there with matching Michael Jackson Thriller jackets on with my wife. I was dying. Him and her had Michael Jackson Thriller jackets on the black and red ones, and I was like, yo, my God, you could catch me dead in no jacket like that, especially not with a girl got the same shit on. Uh, Allison Sunders, is that uh, Skills Pacino, King Flaw, Ramble 79, what's good on? What's good, Ramble? Yo, thanks for the info last week, man. I appreciate that. All right, so now, uh, oh, Beham, Alabama. Come on, Birmingham, Stockton Pike, y'all. Used to live over there on 10th Avenue. Yeah, I've been around the motherfucking world. I used to live in Birmingham, too. All right. He know what I'm talking about when I'm saying Stockton Pike, y'all, over there by 10th Avenue. It might not be there now. It's been a long time. Vino Teller, you're right. R.I.P. Rest, rest in peace, Wolf. Just got through speaking to his mom uh, yesterday. Anyway, so now we sitting up in there and they like, it seemed like they was like, they was talking at each other instead of talking. It was, like I said, it was Jennifer Lopez, Puff, Ben Affleck, Matthew Damon, uh, uh, Will Smith, and Jada Smith. So they all over there and I'm over there chilling by you know, Will Smith and his sister and his Will Smith's sister and his and her husband. They wasn't with the group. They wasn't over the bottom, but we was a little bit further in while they was laughing and joking, talking playing. But I don't know, I could see, you know, I've been with Puff so long I could tell when there's a problem, there's a situation. So I go over there and I look at him and then I just walk away. And then about a few minutes later, Puff comes over to me. And so he said, Eugene, come walk, walk for me right quick. So, we, you know, I went to the restroom and stuff. He said, yo, listen here, man. I think uh, Jada and Will trying to scoop up Jennifer. Yo, and if they try to, I'm going to snuff it. So come closer. I want you close by, you know, because if they try to do this, you know, while I'm right there, I'm going to snuff it. I was like, you gonna snuff Will Smith, dog? <laughs> he was like, yo, Gene, I'm gonna snuff his ass. I said, yeah, all right, man. So I came over a little closer and everything. I'm looking in his face and everything like that. But I could see Ms. Lopez, you know, it to me it wasn't sick. It wasn't like she was giving Will fever anything or Jada and everything. It was more like she was catching, Ben was catching her eye and she was catching his eye. I said, this nigga Gator is all wrong right now. You understand? You know, he thinking is Ben, he thinking it's Will and Jada and it's Ben. Don't you know, not even two or three months later, guess who got his girl? Ben Affleck. 
because we have went Christmas shop. Peace, world. To promote your music or promote your business by placing an ad on MREC TV, contact MREC TV promo, M R E C K TV promo at gmail.com. Peace. Oh, yeah. Subscribe to MREC TV, youtube.com slash MREC TV. I'm gone. MREC TV